I am Anil Kumar and here is another exponential equation which we can solve with the help of logarithms. Now you will observe that in this equation we do have common base of 3. Let us see how to solve this kind of a question. So we have 7 times 3 to the power of x plus 1 minus 3 to the power of 1 minus x equals to 2. So let us uh, expand this and see what it really is. It is 7 times. When I say 3 to the power of x plus 1, it really means 3 to the power of x times 3. Right? That is 3 to the power of x plus 1 minus 3 to the power of 1 means just 3 times 3 to the power of minus x. Now that means 1 over 3 to the power of x. Correct? So let me rewrite this. So we get 7 times 3 is 21. So I can write this as 21, 3 to the power of x. Let's put this in brackets. Minus 3 times. This is 1 over 3 to the power of x. Let's bring 2 to this side. So we get minus 2 equals to 0. Now let's multiply both sides by 3 to the power of x. In that case, we get 21 times 3 to the power of 2x minus 3 minus 2 times 3 to the power of x equals to 0. Right? I hope you understand this step. At this step, we have multiplied everything by 3 to the power of x. Right? This is what we did. Everything we multiplied by 3 to the power of x. So this cancels. Do you see that? And you are left with 3. Here, 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x is, you add the exponents, you get 2x. And here, 2 times 3 to the power of x. But by doing so, we have created a quadratic equation with exponential thing. You see that? We have 21 times 3 to the power of 2x minus 2 times 3 to the power of x minus 3 equals to 0. So that is the kind of quadratic equation we have. Now we can actually solve this equation using quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula can be applied like if you remember the quadratic formula is x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a right. Now in this particular case our x is 3 to the power of x. So we can write 3 to the power of x is equal to and minus of minus 2 is 2 plus or minus square root of b square which is minus 2 square minus 4 times 21 times minus 3 square root divided by 2 times 21. So that is how we can write it. Now let's calculate what we have within the square root. So which is square root of 2 square is 4. Let me write 4. Minus and minus becomes plus. So I'll write plus 4 times 21 times 3 equals to 16. And square root of all that is just 16, right? So we will write 16 here. So what we get here is 2 plus or minus 16 divided by 2 times 21, right? That is 3 to the power of x, right? So this also, we have two possible solutions. So we have one as 18 divided by 42. So we'll do 18, sorry. So 2 plus 16, which is 18 divided by 42 equals to 3 over 7. So one of the solution is 3 over 7. And the other one is 2 minus. So that means minus of 14 divided by. Uh, so other answer is negative, right? Now, whenever you're talking about exponential functions, then these are not valid, right? These are not valid because you are expecting a positive answer, right? So, So, so what we have here is 3 to the power of x is equals to 3 over 7. Correct? So that is the only valid answer. This is the only valid answer, right? 
So to find x, we can take log both sides. So we get log of 3 to the power of x is equals to log of 3 over 7. So that means applying the power rule, x log 3 equals to log of 3 over 7. And that gives us x is equals to log of 3 over 7 divided by log of 3. Correct? So, so that is what you get. If you have to write this in terms of log, let me show you that also. Uh, we will calculate this also. We can calculate and write answer here. Anyway, this is interesting. We can write this as log of 3 minus log of 7 divided by log of 3. And that gives us log 3 divided by log 3 is 1 minus log of 7 over log of 3. Do you get it? So at times if you have to just write it in log terms it could be written like that right and now let's calculate the value also so what we have here is log of 3 divided by 7 log within bracket 3 divided by 7 bracket close equal to divided by log of 3 that gives us minus so we can write down here the answer is minus 0 0.7712 right so either decimal value or at times if required you can also write in terms of log right so that is how you can solve this equation i hope that helps thank you